Every day, I have one. You look like a pretty fit lad for eating hot dogs every day. You think it's good for the stomach? Yes, like, yes, you think yes. you have, like, a Chinese... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> My name's Hallie Whelan McManus. I'm from Dublin, Ireland. I'm sous chef in restaurant Mayamo, three Michelin star in Oslo. We're here in Copenhagen to rediscover the beautiful national treasure that is the hot dog. I would have often thought that I know how to make a hot dog, but I'm not too sure, I just make them at home. In Denmark, they have their own special way and a few traditional things that make it very different and unique. Remoulel, crispy onions, pickled cucumber, and fresh onions make it one of the most delicious snacks available. So right now, we're going off to see Peter, and he's going to show us a thing or two on how to make some hot dogs. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yeah, very well. You're awfully smiley today. You're looking fine, my dear. Oh, gee, Mark, that's what my mum always says. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Can I please have a wrist set with everything? Ketchup, mustard, fresh oh, fried onion? Everything, please. The tiny stuff you can't get anywhere around the world, ramulel. So what is ramulel exactly, Peter? Cabbage, cucumber, mixed together, and mayonnaise. That's ramulel. Delicious. Yeah. Thank you very much. That, to me, is comfort food, and it doesn't really get better than that, especially at this kind of price. Mmm. So, how long have you been here, Peter? Uh, 14 years. Whoa, man. So what makes you keep doing it after 14 years? I can't do oh. anything else. <laughs> <laughs> in the 1950s, there was over 400 hot dog stands in Copenhagen. At this point, there's only about 60, but the culture and tradition of eating hot dogs stands strong. So what does one usually drink with a hot dog? Chocolate. Hot or cold? Cold. The hot is better. Is it? Yes. Oh, whatever you think. I'll yeah. take. I'll take. I'll take whatever you think is best. This is oh, chocolate milk. This is uh, a Danish national treasure, and it is weird that it is associated with hot dogs. You see it all the time. But I don't know. I'm just gonna get into it. Like, mm. and I've never had it hot before either. It even mixes weird in the mouth, but something about it is special and homely and delicious. I think you should try to make a hot dog. Yeah, can I come in? Sure. Yeah. You behave yourself, yes. Echo. Are you just going to go for a smoke? Yeah. <laughs> we'll go classic hot dog. Wrist out with everything. I think that's a nice looking dog. Yeah, one of everything, isn't it? And then, obviously, Remola. This is what, for me, really makes it like. Fresh onions, loads of crispy onions, and some magic pickles, man. I've seen them sometimes. They can be skimpy on the pickles, but a Danish hot dog is not a delicate thing to eat, you know? It's not the most stable. Probably be well happy with something like that. Oh, my dear, it's the wrong one. You just Why? put the uh, mayonnaise on it. It's no, I got it. I've got everything. I've got this one, this one, this one, no. and Ramla. No, not this one. That's no mayonnaise. A, no mayonnaise. Oh. That attempt at a hot dog was not so great, because I put mayonnaise in it, which is a big no-no. It's only for the French guy, because only the French like mayonnaise in their hot dogs. Always oh, crispy vibes. Yeah, my dear. It's the right one. It's good. Yes. Give me five. Low enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, Peter, if it's okay with you, I'm gonna force this hot dog on someone and see if they'll give it the thumbs up as well. You look like a man that could eat a hot dog, sir. You get into it, you let me know if it's okay or not. Yes, I think I'll. I'm very nervous. Bite. Yeah. <laughs> Super tack, yes. That is a load off my mind. <laughs> and he's gone. That was exceptionally awkward, wasn't it? <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. I learned a world of things about hot dogs. Mostly don't put mayonnaise where it doesn't belong. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Peter. You're a gentleman. Tucson tack tack from El. Peter has been in this hot dog stand for 14 years. Likely he's not going anywhere else. And it's a good thing, really, because 
If he goes somewhere, then we'll be missing an institution in this country. It is nice to see as well, having spent a lot of time in higher upper end kitchens, that these guys are kind of just as tight on what ingredients go in what. So adding mayonnaise immediately, no way. You gotta get rid of that. It's gotta be right every single time because the customer expects a delicious hot dog every time.